Hello everyone, welcome to Richie Nix Gaming. Uh, tonight, <clears throat> uh, I am recording a really quick thing. I was looking through my list of uh, videos that need to be made and found that uh, I had never made uh, something that should only take a couple minutes, and that is a recruit video. How to recruit players. Uh, it's super simple, so let's get into it. Uh, please like, please subscribe, please share. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, RigiNixGam1. Uh, and uh, all this stuff will be down in the description. Okay, so on the uh, home screen here, uh, you can see right down here uh, is the recruit option. Um, when you have that red exclamation point, that means that uh, you have enough of the uh, recruit cards here to recruit a player. Uh, pitchers cost five, and uh, field positions cost seven. So, um, first of all, you want to eventually recruit enough players, <clears throat> excuse me, for your entire team to be uh, recruited players, because uh, recruited players are better than uh, the given players when you start the game. Uh, the given players are not upgradable. The recruited players started bronze, they become silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. <clears throat> so, as you can see, you're going to want um, at least one of each field position, and then a designated hitter. I chose center fielder at random. Uh, at the time, my thought process was my very first recruited player was a center fielder, uh, and he's the best. Um, so I went with another center fielder, um, thinking that for some reason that position was like statistically better. It has not proven to be the case. And then you can see that I've got all these extra guys. I've used a lot of uh, recruit tokens because I just keep getting them. I no longer need them. When it comes to pitchers, you get five starting pitchers, you get one closer, and then you get uh, five reliefs. And as you can see, again, I've got a bunch of extras. Well, let's go back to recruit. It is simple. You get recruit badges um, as random drops. You can buy them in the store. Uh, they cost diamonds. I think that's the only place, right? Uh, or you can skip over uh, the recruit process and just, with real money, purchase. Uh, purchase players in that way. But uh, So you can purchase recruit tickets with diamonds, or you can just get them as drops. Uh, I get them as drops so often I don't think I ever purchased any uh, recruit badges I don't think I needed to I just dealt with having um, the players like one at a time all right back to recruit you literally just you know you choose the one that you want let's just say I need a starting pitcher you literally just click on here and confirm Uh, that's, um, pitchers do not automatically get put into, uh, the corresponding lineups. However, when you recruit position players, they do automatically replace whomever is currently in that position. Uh, so if you recruit a position player, like, that you, you already have a recruited player for, uh, and your original recruited player is better, you're going to want to make sure that you go back to your lineup and uh, change them out. Uh, and then in the recruit section, you also have release. That is to get rid of uh, players that you don't need, or at least you don't want. So let's see, what do I have doubles of? I've got two left fielders. Uh, they are both identical. I'm looking at this guy and this guy. 
all of their stats are identical. They're both left fielders. Their overall is 45. And they are both from left to right. 53, 48, 44, 42, 45, 42, 41. Combine that with the fact that I have a really good left fielder, Luke Skywalker, I'm just going to choose um, the lower. So, basically, you know, the best is at the top, and it's just uh, going down the line, uh, stat-wise. So, even though they're statistically literally the same, he is lower, so I'm going to get rid of him. So, you select the player... You hit release. Confirm. Player has been released. It's really simple. Um, look, I can even still recruit. Let's just get rid of that, because I hate seeing those exclamation points. Look at that. My lineup has been unaffected. And they're just chilling in that uh, list of unused players. Excuse me. Uh, that's that's it. This is probably going to be my fastest tutorial to date, maybe even ever. That is how you recruit players, and that's how you release players. There's no real strategy when it comes to recruiting players. Uh, when I recruited my players at the beginning. And I was doing it one player at a time. Uh, I, th I believe the game made me do center fielder first. Or I chose center fielder first because I decided I was going to start with the outfield. And that center field is the most important position. So I started with the outfield for the defense. Uh, and then uh, catcher, pitchers, third base, first base, short and second were last I think. Uh, when it came to pitchers, I kind of did every other. Like I did a starter, then I did the closer, I did another starter, I did a reliever, etc. Uh, and that's it. Um, please like, please subscribe, please share. Uh, I'll see you guys down in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Um, uh, all that stuff will be in the uh, description of the video. And uh, keep your eyes open for uh, the continuation of the World 3 Championship. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if any of this was somehow not explained well enough. I'll answer any questions you still have in the comments. See you around, guys.